San Andreas, Paul 252. Paul 252, go ahead. Show me 108 PD. 104. What's up, guys? GT Gamer here, and welcome back to OCRP. And we are playing for the first time ever, well, but I'm recording at least, as a PD officer. That's right, we've got a new vehicle, the Impala. Not new to the server, but certainly new to my videos. This is the Police Impala. And I really like the light bar on it and the uh, little lights in the windscreen. They're cool. They are really cool. But yeah, I, I really like this car. And we are a uh, 10-8. We're down here in the city. That's our jurisdiction. It makes a difference because we've been to the city before as highway, but I don't know. Now to actually have to stick to the city, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. We are currently looking for a vehicle. There's a boloed vehicle from the last episode. Uh, it is a Chrome Banshee. It has a large rear wing that is black, I believe, and a purple underglow. So if we see that, he is wanted. That will be either a pursuit or a felony stop. The reason he's wanted, this does make me giggle a bit. He went into the back of one of our units at a set of lights. Like, the cop stopped and he didn't. And he just rear-ended him and then he did not stop. Which is illegal, but it still makes me giggle a little bit. So we are 10 8. We're going to go for a patrol. Paul, We're not just 31. sat here all night. Paul, and if anything back. happens, I will bring you back. Show me 10 7 for a vehicle swap. Well, that's a little bit of jank. Um, I don't think so, buddy. That was highly illegal of me, but. What was that about? I don't know. I'm going to have a talk to him. And he hit an, a local. Okay, I'm definitely having a word with this dude then. Because that was not on. Straight in with a freaking pullover. Sam, uh, County, uh, Paul 252 traffic. I was meant to say Metro then, we call him Metro Paul for Pido. Go ahead. It's going to be a 1050 on an orange vapid contender on Elgin Avenue, nearest postal 204. Received a copy of your 1050 on an orange vapid contender, Melvin Elgin Avenue, near postal 204. 10 for 28 when ready. Is that a Go B ahead. or an 8? 28 is going to be 48 Lima Juliet Uniform 655. That's 48 Lima Juliet Uniform 655. 1064, your return. Go ahead. It comes back on a classic yellow vapid guardian. R.O. is an Adam Smith, valve insurance, no flag. 10-4, thank you. Good evening, sir. I'm Officer Purton with the LSPD. Do you know why I stopped you today? Kind of stopped. I pulled behind Brand you one more time. What's going on? It was the manner you pulled out of that parking spot over there. Wheel spinning, Metropole, basically here, doing half a donut, accelerating on the wrong side of the road, and then... In my monocle, you hit a uh, local as you came into the parking lot. Oh, Jesus. Not, not in mine, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was pulling in rather aggressive. I will okay. admit that. Fortunately, the uh, local just walked off, so we seemed fine with it. But uh, can I have your license registration proof insurance, please? Should yeah, be Adam Smith. sure can. Here you go. It's going to be Adam Smith. Okay, Mr. Smith, thank you very much. Uh, I'll just be maybe one minute. Can do. Let's see what Adam Smith comes back as. God, I love this to uh, Impala. Right, let's run his name. So what was it? Adam Smith. There he is. Good to know that he's not giving us a false name. Adam Smith. I don't think you can actually give false names. I've never had it happen. Ooh, 20 to 29 over. 67 in a 35. Wow. I suppose that's not that bad considering I've done 120 in most 35s on this game. Okay, Mr. Smith, here you go. Here's your information back. What you did is relatively minor. Like, it was certainly dangerous, but because the traffic was low, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to give you a verbal warning. That tell you not to do that again because clearly it's a stupid thing to do. So if you're okay with that, then yeah. I'll let you be on your way. 
Yeah, no, that works for me. I appreciate the break. Thank you, officer. Okay, no worries, man. Keep it um, in your lane of traffic, let's say. Yeah, Technically, you did an illegal U-turn as well. Okay, so you have a nice day. Try not to do too many U-turns in traffic. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll try not to. Appreciate it. Alright, have a nice day, Mr. Smith. Well, that was a very pleasant exchange. Yeah, the local thing, that was uh, desync more than anything, so I'm going to let him go with that. I'll just call us in as 10-8. Metro, Paul 252. Paul 252, go ahead. 10 on your 8, show me 10-8 verbal warning given. Receive. Right, uh, the only way to get it... Oh my god, it opened! That is a heart attack and a half there. I was going to say the only way to get out is to ram it, but evidently that's not true. Like, how often does that happen? Not... I don't, I don't think it's ever happened before. I was so confident in saying we're about to ram through this, and then it opened. Which makes me look like a dick. Thanks, game. Ah, uh, god damn it. Anyway, we got a green light, so... I'm thinking if we go... Where should we go? If we take a... Which road is this? No, it's not this one, it's the next one. If we take a right at the next set of lights, we can go up past the LS Customs, um, and then maybe Rockford. I think Rockford would be fun to patrol. A lot of criminals go through Rockford. What was that? Please tell me that was AI. Technically, you shouldn't be driving over a curb, but I do it in my real car in real life, so why not? And he's rolling... Oh, he's going right, but you're meant to stop still. Nope. It's a local. It is a freaking local. Don't use my handbrake to come to a stop. Even though, once again, that's something I've done in real life, but... I'm not a good driver, what can I say? Right, we're gonna go, um... In fact, we can go this way. Yeah, that was legal. That was 100% legal. Yeah, we're gonna go up to Rockford. I think we might find something in Rockford to, um, kick off with. That's a little unusual. I've never seen that before. Huh. Let's just have a look. I've never seen an, a local leave their door open like that. 6-6, six, six, Juliet Ida Ida, 295. Okay, let's get back to our MDT, Mobile Data Terminal. So, 6-6, six, six, Juliet Ida Ida. Nope, not coming back. Hmm. That is highly unusual. Okay, I'm going to do this uh, local a favour. And uh, I'll just close this door for him. Like, you might still have his sat-nav nicked, but at least his interior will stay dry. Eh, 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 interior will stay dry. I know, that's highly unusual. I've never seen that before. Oh, well. We are um, Spanish Avenue, which is the road just south of um, Vinewood Boulevard. I think I've taken a nice little uh, slow cruise along there, see if anything's happening at the bank. And then, well, there are a lot of cops on, so theoretically a bank robbery could happen. And then we're um, going probably Rockford, go around the hills a little bit, and then come down south to the city, see if anything happens there. So the bank should be uh, right here. Yep, that's the bank. That was a nice car, Ford GT. A lot more common in this game than in uh, real life, even in LA. Coming up to uh, some of the more luxurious properties up in uh, Vinewood. Like seriously, I'd love to live somewhere like this. That would be amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go right, and it doesn't make a difference. It's a loop, but I fancy going this way. It's nice to show the, um, especially the rich people that we're in the area and we're keeping their um, ten million dollar houses safe. Ooh, damn. Damn, I would love to bring a chick up here. Meow. This is a nice ass area. But you can't exactly get jiggy in a police parlor, so, you know. Right, let's um, go... Let's have a look at our bolos, actually. So, where can I pull over? There is nowhere to pull over without ruining someone's million dollar lawn. Let's pull over here. I'm sure someone wouldn't complain about the police in their driveway. Unless they're a criminal. What is happening with my mouse? Okay. That's just weird. Right, Hank White and Johnny Longhorn. Uh, athletic build, black jackets, green pants. Right, vehicles, that's the main one. An Emperor ETR1. They're fast. Don Carl wanted. 
Uh, a Hexa, they're hard to spot because there's so many motorbikes. They're easy to spot, but they're also extremely fast. Uh, Phoenix, they're quite common. Stono from the owner, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Contact 123 for further information. Chariot, end of the XF, Chrome. Stolen. Right. That's gonna be. Wait, where's the. Hmm. There should also be a Banshee on that list, but you know. Right. Um, nothing seems to be happening up here, per se. So what I might do is go down towards sort of the more there. central city, see if anything yeah, happens there. Call ID one four six. What are you doing, AI? Show me the Charles Dutch twenty ten eight. What could well happen <laughs> is if another pull unit, basically a PD unit, pulls someone over in the city, we might get dispatched as backup to that because um, there's not many pull units on at the moment. Charles so. Michael. I'm kind of hoping for that to be honest, because it's quite quiet in the city at the moment. Okay, so here's a question for you. I don't know why I thought of this, it's random, but it's quite a good question. In, I'm pretty sure this counts as the city, but if we actually open the map, that was reckless, then the city is indicated with um, sort of, uh, what colour would you call that, like a grey concrete colour? But this area is mainly green, and to further complicate things, anyone who's played actual GTA, just like the stock game, this area is patrolled by Sheriff. All of this that's in green is patrolled by Sheriff. If you commit a crime on, like, sort of here, I guarantee it'll be Sheriff that respond. Was that called Cockway then? Yep, yeah, that's Cockway right there. But yeah, it brings up a good question. Is this actually PD's... Uh, jurisdiction or is this sheriff jurisdiction in real life who would respond if I got murdered right here it is a good question because it I would ca I personally would count this as the city but then everything else indicates that it's um, sheriff jurisdiction but it's so yeah. built up and it flows so fluidly Girl, into the city I would class this as city show me 10 6 5 mics like, it's a massive build-up area. So it is quite a good question. Is this city or is this county jurisdiction? I suppose it doesn't matter, because I'm patrolling it anyway, and police do patrol this, but... I don't know, it might increase my jurisdiction if I'm a sheriff. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I really need to stop stuttering so much. But let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments. Is this county jurisdiction or is this sheriff jurisdiction? Uh... I said the same thing twice then, duh. Is this a PT jurisdiction? I really, I'm so tired. It's Thursday, I've been in work all week. I've had a stress all week, my internet didn't work. I'm currently dying as well, just to add the things. Um, I'm sure they won't mind me using their driveway. So yeah, it is a very good question though. Whose jurisdiction is this? Water and hamburgers, because I'm American, I eat lots of hamburgers. That was not racist, that was, um, okay, that was racist. Ooh, there's a property here. Should we have a look at one of the properties? Technically we shouldn't, but if we just park our car here, highly recklessly. Let's have a look, I wanna have a look at this. Quite a small property, how much is this? How much do you reckon, price? Uh, available properties, uh, 300,000, we can almost afford this. I've, uh, ooh, that was unexpected. Okay, it's just a brick wall. I was not expecting you to be able to open the door then. My pants look like jeans then. Well, I was going to have a look at that, but you can't go inside without buying it, so that sucks. Alright, we need to get this car off some random... Well, it's not a lawn, but, you know. Alright, let's, um, let's patrol further into the city. I need to get on the right side of the road. Because I'm British and I drive on the wrong side of the road all the time. And let's see if we can get into anything. Uh, they Probably just drove through a red light. I was looking at it like, why is it's the light green? No. Panorama Drive, hmm. nearest place to 949. Okay. Okay, dude. Right, really? Receive. What? Are you drunk? 
You are stupid. Charles 3, 20, 28, when ready. They're not acting like a local, though. They are... 320, stand by. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to assume that's a local. Put my lights on just to get out of this dangerous Charles, dangerous there. intersection. That Still was weird, man. One, Sam, Frank, okay, I'm going to go left seven, here. Six. And see if anything kicks off at the local um, that comes back on local a shop. Blue. What's it called? Uh, customs. Arrow is a Lance Burke, Valve Insurance Snowflakes. Sam two zero three. Go ahead. Be advised, Don Kale does come back active ten thirty. Ooh, Ten he's four. wanted. Two five twos in the area. If... So this guy's wanted. Uh, Power Street, Power Street, Power Street. That's the next one, no, the one after. Yeah, I'm gonna take a. Does he, uh, are both his vehicles still bullet? I believe it is. Both gonna be dark green vehicles, one's gonna be Dominator, one's gonna be an ETR 1, and another one potentially be a Liberator monster truck. The Liberator's not on there, but I think Same the ETR three, 1 three, is. Uh, the, uh, the next one for us. Uh, Ooh. Don Kale's red Games, owner is the ETR 1. 10-4, just keep an eye out, all officers. There's gonna be a dark green uh, Dominator as well. Dark green Dominator. There's the stop over there. I'm gonna, just gonna uh, stop by, see if he, um, see if this guy's wanted, if he needs any help, blah blah blah. Um, oh, I was gonna jump the curb then, but that's probably not the best idea. Route 68 and Joshua yes. in front of any vehicle. Come on, dude. I just want to see if this officer's okay, if he's got everything under control. Okay. Um. Let's. How are we gonna do this? Um. This is Jang. Go ahead. 1070 advised. Next off rotation is gonna be Cook, Al Cook Auto Body Shop. In the ETA 5 minutes. How's it going, officer? Cook Auto Body. Uh, How's it going, man? I just thought I'd check, see if you're okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, we're good here. Uh, j I just let him go. Um, he was riding without a helmet, so we signed him for that. Can't be having that. Um, he was spinning his tires and other stuff like that, so I kind of let that go, but we just signed him for the helmet. Okay, that's fair enough. I thought I heard over the radio this guy's wandered. Got or did I mishear that? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I ran his name myself. Uh, I didn't say over the radio if he was uh, his name or whatnot. I think that was the other traffic stop they got going on in the county. No, he's uh, definitely not wanted, or at least I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I got confused then. That's why I came stopping by. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're all good. Yeah, they're they were riding around in a pack, so um, we'll have to keep an eye out. See if they're. He said he was going straight home to get his helmet. So obviously, if we see him around a little bit later, he's still not gonna have that helmet. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little mad about that, but I, yeah, I think he's going home. It was a pretty hefty sight. Okay, that's fair enough. I just fired the uh, check up on you. See if you're okay. Hey, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. No, it's all it's all good. We're uh, we're good to go. All right. Have a uh, good day. Stay safe, officer. Hey, you too, officer. I'll see you around, man. Done. Ah, well, I got extremely confused then. That guy was not wanted. Hopefully. Metropolitan. Uh, I'm gonna reverse and then go around. All right. So keep an eye out for that dude. He doesn't have a helmet. He's going to get it. So if he doesn't have it later, he lied. Simple as that. Stop in for an abandoned vehicle. Fair enough. If that's what he wants to spend his time doing, I'm gonna head north, uh, back towards Vinewood. I think Vinewood would have. Actually, no. We need to swing by Grove Street. I haven't even. Okay, right on red. Wrong lane, but no one noticed. There's no police around except the one in the car. Yeah, let's swing by Grove Street. I haven't been down there for. If I don't think I have been down there. Have I been down there? Yeah, that's, that's a very good point, actually. In all the time I've played OCRP, I've not gone down to Grove Street. That's a weird thought, because that's like the main crime area in the city. If not the game. If not the series, all of Grand Theft Auto's, this is where you get killed, this junction. They literally just fly straight out across. Ooh, green, red light. Red light. It's a red light. It's a new colour I made up. 
Charles 103, receive 1070 advised. Next stop rotation is going to be. Come uh, ahead and 10 minutes. What was that? That's gotta be. Uh uh. Nope. Not having that. You are kidding me. That was a local. <laughs> I I really don't know what to say. That was the worst driving I've ever seen in my life. And that was a local. <laughs> like, seriously, what is up with this? Oh, there's another unit over there. But what is up with this game? Like, really? That was a green light. I'm going. That counts. Right, let's have a uh, nice little nosy down at Grove Street. The advantage to the city, of course, lots of places where you can run radar. Disadvantage, no actual people to run radar w against. So, swings and roundabouts. Good hiding Central spots, Paul, no one to catch. Paul 141, go ahead. Paul 141, 10-8. Really, dude? Really? The driving in this game is getting worse. That is good, the theme of this episode. I'm going to moan at Alpha Riders or locals, whatever. They get on my nerves. They're really bad at driving. 32 litres of gas. I keep forgetting to turn my engine off. Anyway, we're at Grove Street. Uh, it seems quiet at the moment. Don't know if that's going to change, but, you know. At least it's a good thing for now. So, um... Ooh, what should we do? Um, take a ride down Grove Street and just see if we can get into something. Oh. Okay. That was. He ran a stop sign. That's something. How fast is he going? That was above the limit. That had to be. Plus, that window tin's extremely dark. Huh. Let's just have a look, see what he does now. I'm going to pull him over because the window tint and the stop sign. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Game lag. Gotta love it. Huh. The way this guy's driving is, um... Hmm. I suppose it's not that bad. But still, running a stop sign. It's worth having a chat with him. Let's just see what he does now. He's going straight. Why would he change lane to go straight on? Charles 103, 1098, 108. Charles 103, receive. Show you clear CN 1467, back to eight. Are you actually kidding me? This is a local? <laughs> it's a local. You, you are... I screw this. You are lucky to be alive, friend. You are lucky to be alive. That was an actual local. <laughs> well, I know what this freaking episode's called. Damn locals. What the hell was that? I can turn my lights off now, I think. I know that that's a local car over there because that's part of the gang scene, but. I thought that was a guy in his driveway waiting for a cop to go down there so we could pull out and do a scenario or something? Nope. God, was I wrong. I was just a jackass local. Right. That was... shouldn't be in my lane, but okay. Oh, the, uh... whatever. Right, let's go back then Grove Street, see if anything happens. 10 10 New primary active dispatch, channel 1, server 1, be Tom 222. Tom 222, you'll have a good night. Dispatch clear, 1803. Oh, dispatch is going. We've got a new dispatcher, Dallas. Give it up for Dallas. Let's see how good he is. I haven't Tom, two, had him before. At 1804, Eastern. Nice. Let's see how good Tom is. Tom. Dallas is then. Alright, let's take a, another swing through Grove Street. See if that same car pulls out of the same driveway, because knowing how luck it will. Metro to any Paul unit in the area of 200 Adams Apple Boulevard. Um. Paul 131. Paul 734. Paul 252. Paul 131. Paul 252. Got a 911 call. Possible shots fired. 4 131 around. 
252 on route. Oh, we got an actual call. En route 1804. Um, 119 is actually at the bank, 206. Would you want 119 to also respond? Pepper, you can respond as well. Shots, I know what this is going to be. But still, let's see, um, let's see how this pans out. Always slow down for junctions, that's how you die if you don't. 19, 10, 9, 7. Tough route, 192. 252, same traffic. Tough route, Right, um, I'll just pull up behind. Oh my god, they have got here fast. Not on my. What did you do? Uh, oh not in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go check inside. 119 is gonna take a lap around the block. Uh, it's I can hear the the shots fired from the range. I don't know if there's something else that was called in or. What the yeah, deal I drive past the range quite a lot. That this sounds louder than usual. That guy's just fucking walking in a lane for some reason. Huh, that's odd. Uh, do you want me to go in there All with right, you? I'm just gonna go in there. Yeah, sure. Let's just go check it yeah. out. I doubt anybody's in there, but take a look. Just get my piss out just in case. See if anything's going on in the ammunition. That's where you buy your uh, legal guns. <laughs> That's where it goes quieter when you go inside. Anyone in here? No one left. Alright, uh -huh, looks good to me. Yeah, probably just a concerned person didn't realise it was a gun range. Yeah. Whatever, I guess we'll just take a lap around and probably clear off. Yeah, exactly. It's, up on that team. it's the range. Is it the range? Yeah. Yeah, there's no one no, in there. Right, yeah, I mean, there's no, guy, there's no one guy. in there. That guy wasn't the call. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's the just the ambient noises, but nothing concerning inside ammunition. Look at that response. I'm just going to take a lap around and clear off, I guess. Yeah, same here. I'll, I'll radio with him. Alright, I'm gonna go check Ten the foot. roof. Metro, ball uh, 119. Go check the roof. Oh, 119. Be advised, uh, all three ball units are 1097 right now at the uh, um, ammunition. So, um, be advised, it's more than likely the individuals on the firing range that are doing target practice at this time. Tougher. Paul 119, Paul 131, Paul 252. 1097. Just advice. Hey, buddy. Haven't uh, happened to see anyone with a gun or anything, Ranger, have you? No, I haven't seen anything. I was just in the dealership uh, buying this bike, trying to squirt my plate and all that stuff. Okay, no worries, man. It's just we got reports of uh, shots fired. That is a lovely bike, by the way. Loving the back tire on it. Yeah. yeah, that's why I bought it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Those shoes are a little odd, but the bike's certainly nice. Metropole 119, <laughs> show me 1098, 10 from the shots. Yeah, well, I, was, I didn't know what Metropole vehicle I wanted to buy, and I saw the bike, and the bike just said, buy me, buy me. Oh, we've all been there. Anyway, sir, so you have a uh, lovely day. and Make sure you don't go around speeding or anything. I know it's a new bike, but I'm sure you can enjoy it under the speed limit. Um, oh, I'm sure I will. Okay, have a nice day, sir. Uh, Sheriff's car has had a massive accident on East Joshua Road okay. and Marina Drive. Hmm. Not something I'm concerned with, that's in the uh, county. But still, that's a nice house bike. There's some nice cars around here. Not a massive fan of motorbikes personally, but I don't know, I can certainly appreciate their value. Alright, let's see if um, there's the other unit there. Let's see if anything happens in the area. Um, why is that dude in a cop uniform? Huh. Well, that's certainly worth checking out. County Charles 468. Let's just see what Charles that cop does. If he gets in that warrant, uh, Do we have somebody uh, going to an accident on Route 68? Break, break, break. I have that Banshee headed northwest from Marina Drive. Ooh, that's I'll that wanted Banshee. Boulevard. That's that bike we uh, just spoke to. 10-4. Alright, dispatch me advised, that's more than likely going to turn into a 10-31. 10-4. Yeah, you require a 10 priority. 
I see. I think that might have just been a, uh, a local police officer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. We're taking it right now on to Zancudo. Zancudo. Right, that's in Sandy. Continuing Zancudo to Marina, stand by. If he comes down in the city, we'll get attached. If he Taking doesn't, then there's nothing right we can do. Heading towards Joshua. Oh, he's uh, bailed out the car. So at least that's not on the Three road anymore. Location. It's very dangerous eight, having eight, a vehicle pursuit. It's safer to have a foot pursuit. Oh, they've uh, got him. They have point. got him. Perfect. Nearest postal, 10, 0, that is sweet Top justice. Where is that? 1008's up here, so there it is. So he's we somewhere in this area. Oh, damn. Car's on fire. Except for vehicle on fire. I'll start the fire department here, hmm. He was going a bit fast. Well, that was uh, not the best ending to a pursuit ever, but we got it. That's all that matters. There's no longer a danger on the road of San, yeah, San Andreas. I was about to say Sandy Shores then. Which I suppose would have worked, but it doesn't sound as cool. I'm yeah, just sitting here on the um, border of Los Santos and Blaine County, see if anyone decides to speed this way. Not going to stay here much longer though, going to call it a night soon because i got work tomorrow. Ugh, Friday. Oh, that's a good thing though, it is Friday tomorrow. Yay, last day. Alright, let's see if anything happens here. Okay guys, I ran radar for a bit, nothing actually happened so I'm going to edit that out. But, um... Today's not been the most eventful episode ever, but I think it's been a pretty cool one. Our first ever time as PD, and it went quite well. We drove this beautiful car. It has a lovely handling line. So yeah, it's not been a complete waste of time. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like OCRP, though. I love this game, so let me know uh, if you like it as well by just giving me that thumbs up. If you press it three times, it turns blue, genuinely. But thank you so much for watching, make sure you come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.